Hey guys, what's up? This is JRP77 with JG and Games, and I'm actually going to be getting into texturing now. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go. First of all, we're gonna go into Blender. Now you can. I've actually redone the normals. This is from earlier. This was me trying to see if I could get the normals to work, but it was not working. So I'm just gonna close that material. Um, you do not need to pause there and open up the compositor. So we got this. Oh. That's why it wasn't working. So what I actually did was I'm going to rebake the normals. Now we've made these normals, but I'm going to redo them because the margin was 26 pixels. And it was making it to where, if I go to the UV editor, the circle was actually finishing out here. But we don't want that. We actually want to set the margin to zero. So I'm going to hit zero, and then I'm going to go that. So click on this, then click on the circle object, because that's our low poly model. And I'm going to hit bake. And it's going to bake our normals. There, it's done it. And so now we have zero margin. We have our UVs. So I'm going to resave these. Save as image. Normal.png. Save. And I'm just going to save over. So now what we want to do is we want to see how it's going to look. So we are going to jump out of the UV editor. Go into here move it back towards the center and now we're gonna get rid of this chest piece and we're just gonna hit X and hit delete now we wanna see what this is gonna look like with all of, with textures on it so oh hello so what we're gonna do is we're going to put our um, textures onto this now this is not what it's gonna look like in unity because unity has a different shading system so, but first I'm gonna hit shift A and just add a lamp Actually, no. I'm going to go into first. We want to go into Cycles Render. Cycles is so much better than Blender for rendering and stuff. So we're, then we're going to go Lamp, and we're going to do Hit Me, and we're just going to move it up on top. So now, if we go down here to this circle down here, we're going to hit Rendered, and you'll notice we have a lit circle of sorts, solid. Now we're going to make a material for this. So we're going to go into here and make a material. I'm just going to call this Test. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make a really complex material so that we can show um, how this is working. So now, um, that stuff that I had done earlier, that is how this is going to work. So first, we're going to hit Shift A, hit Input, I mean first, Texture, Image Texture. And we're going to open up um, our texture that we found. So I'm going to hit Cancel, and I'm going to show you guys this that I found. I found this texture. It's just a granite texture, but it looks like a chess piece. It looks pretty cool, and I'm going to actually make it a little bit wider in Photoshop. So what we're going to do is we are going to drag this in. Oh, not remove. Oh, fudge. Stop FaceTiming me, random people. People randomly keep FaceTiming me. Um, no one cares. I'm actually going to turn off Wi-Fi for now. Yeah, so I can't get any of that stuff. So I'm going to get open, downloads, and I believe it was... I'm just going to go here, this. I'm going to drag the color into there. Now if I go into rendered view, material view, you can see that actually doesn't look bad. For a chess piece, that actually looks really good with exception for the top, but that looks really good. Now what we want to do is we have to add the normals. And before we add the normals, I'm going to make the light way stronger. I'm going to make the strength 5 in the compositor. Then I'm going to go to rendered mode, and we should be able to see it a little bit brighter. I'm also going to move the lamp off to the side. I'm going to rotate. I'm going to hit 5. I'm going to jump out of the compositor real quick. I'm going to rotate hit 5, 1, and I'm going to rotate it kind of like that. And I'm just going to move it to right there. So we get a cooler um, shot. So you can see we have this texture, but we've lost a ton of our detail. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into the compositor and click on our model, and we're going to drag in our new detail. So I'm going to move this down to the middle, and I'm going to hit Shift A, image texture and I'm going to drag it over here. Now I'm going to open up our normal map. Then I'm going to hit shift A um, was it vector bump. I'm going to drag that right there, drag the color to I think it was the height? No. Was it the height? I don't know. 
and we're going to drag this into the normal, and we're going to see if that worked. Okay, now we're going to change this to normal. Okay, we can clearly tell that it is height or strength. Let's try strength. No, not strength. And you can just play around, see. I like height best. Height brings out all the details. So you can see that that looks really good. But if we look at our sphere, um, when we start our reflections, if you look at this, the sphere is the only thing problem. All these UVs have these squares on them. And we are actually going to fix that. I'm going to change this to non-color data. And it just doesn't, like, all these squares, it doesn't work that well. So I'm going to jump into Photoshop, and we're going to clean up that normal map and see if we can get our reflections looking better. So I'm going to go to Photoshop. I'm going to get my pen and touch tablet plugged in so that I can use that. I highly suggest getting one of those if you're going to do um, art, like game art. So what we're doing is I'm going to select the smudge tool. Now normally the blur tool will be there, but you just click on, I'm going to use my touch tablet now, I'm going to, and you just hold down on the blur icon, go to the smudge. We're going to be using 75 strength at normal. Now I'm going to open up our, oh, open recent, normal. This was our normal map. And so I'm going to zoom in to an area. Let's start with this circle up here. And we're going to scale it down just to about right there. And we're going to start dragging around until those lines start to fade. The lines have faded, so we jump off, go to the next one, and start doing this with the lines until they fade. And we're going to do these for all of the circles, and then we're going to do the more complex um, sphere layout. And all this is doing is this is making the the sharp edges that we made when, that we had when we were modeling fade away. So we're gonna blur this out, and it's gonna do its thing and kind of simulate. This is the easiest way I've found to do this. Okay, now that we got that, we're gonna go up to the top one. Scale it down just yeah, like that. And it's gonna load. And then we're gonna go over here and scale it down one. And just we're just getting rid of all of these squares. Because they look really ugly. And they're gonna mess up our normal map. Oh, let it do its thing. My computer is being so slow right now. Maybe it's because I have twenty four percent battery. I don't know. So we're almost done with these circles. I'm just going to go up to this top one. and There we go. Now I'm going to let it fade out. This one real quick. This one. Do that one. And now we're going to do our more complex sphere. So I'm just going to start painting... And note, we are not changing the UVs whatsoever. All we are doing is playing and getting rid of all these bumps so we can have higher quality reflections. That's it. So now we're just going to save this as an image to our thing. And we're going to save this as normal redone. Now if we save and we go back into Blender and we come into here and we change this to normal redone, you can see it's more high quality. It doesn't have all those little squares on there, but we still have all of our detail. So yeah, guys, that's texturing and UV unwrapping in Blender. Thanks for watching, guys. Next, we're going to get into finally Unity, and that's going to be great. So thanks for watching, guys. And I'll